Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Scythe Ninja 2 CPU Cooler. What's included is the user's manual, all the materials needed for installation on the AMD and Intel motherboards including thermal compound, two fan clips, a 120mm fan and the CPU cooler. There are three assembly clips or brackets included. This one is for installation on AMD based motherboards for the socket 754, 939, 940 and AM2. These two are for installation on Intel based motherboards. This one is for installation on the socket 478 and this one is for installation on the LGA 775. It's worth noting that when installing this cooler on an Intel LGA775 CPU, you do not need to remove the motherboard and put a backplate on the back side of the motherboard. Rather, they include this very handy clip so you don't have to do that. At first glance, there's no mistaking that this is one massive heatsink. The heatsink itself weighs in at 705 grams without the fan. With the fan installed, it weighs 820 grams. This is fairly heavy, so when transporting the case, be very careful, otherwise it might damage the motherboard and or the CPU. Note that this cooler is designed to cool the faster CPUs on the market, including the Intel and AMD quad-core processors. And by the way, the CPU thermal design power or thermal design point specification for this cooler is 65 watts without the fan and 130 watts with the fan. The heatsink is a combination of aluminum and copper. The large aluminum fins are connected by copper heat pipes which connect into a solid base. This nickel plated copper base is extremely smooth which allows excellent contact between it and the CPU. Some fans come with a 4 pin power connection. This one is 3 pin. Now have a listen to the very quiet 120 millimeter fan. This cooler is extremely versatile and can be installed on just about any current motherboard. I'll be installing it on the ABIT AN78GS socket AM2 AM2 Plus motherboard. Please refer to the user manual for detailed installation instructions for other sockets. First, remove the protective plastic at the base of the cooler. Next, install the bracket. In my case, I'm using the socket AM2 bracket. Now install the CPU and apply a thin coat of thermal compound. Next carefully mount the cooler and install the 120mm fan using the two fan clips and connect the fan into the motherboard's fan header. This is one very impressive CPU cooler and it will have no problem keeping any current CPU cool. Now if you're overclocking of course that is a totally different story but this cooler should also be very very good at that. I would recommend if you have a CPU that's over 3 gigahertz or if you have a quad core CPU install the fan just to be safe and keep it nice and cool. This is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.